Hola YouTube, how are you doing? Today I'm gonna talk about the MacBook Whites. You know, out of nothing, the thing was working fine. And out of nothing, you're trying to boot it up. And then it shows, it never showed the Apple, you know, it just, and then suddenly you see some, some folder. with a question mark and you're like hey what the crap is this what what happened to my Mac you know and all your work is on there and all your stuff is on there you know how to fix this Mac well if something like this happens to you it could be that you had some malware that messed up the boot of your of your Mac drive and then this will show you will get some folder with a question mark you know no hard drive found so you will be like then probably searching already for a new hard drive you know and you're like oh my hard drive crashed I lost all my data so let me show you before you're gonna buy a new hard drive how to test and see if it's really the hard drive that is broken or somebody played a trick on you some bloody malware or some idiot from outside that was in your Mac you know many things can happen could be some app that you tried out but most of the times it's just some website that you visited and then out of nothing your Mac does not work anymore so let's see how to fix it you will need you will need software called Refit, okay? Because the Mac is dead, it won't boot from anything. You can try to put in a Mac disk, it will just say no hard drive found. Cause it's, it's crazy, really. You know, cause in fact, I tried to, you know, boot some other operating system from USB, you know, Linux, but in some way that is not functioning, eh? When that hard drive there is showing that question mark, in some way, no way you can, you know, cause effect, it's giving a sign that the hard drive is loco. It is not a bien, you know, it is loco. So how to fix? Okay, I want you to go to the refit site and you will see three files up there. You will see an ISO file, you will see a Mac installer that you cannot use and you will find a Mac image file. I want you to download that Mac image file, okay? If you cannot, if you don't have a Mac, uh, another Mac at your site, then you can go for the ISO file. Burn a CD from it. It's, it's gonna be, you know, only some megabytes on the CD, but it's gonna be a bootable CD that you can boot from. And when you boot from it, you will have the refit in the boot okay so when you have that you can also create a usb stick i did it on my other mac i just you know got the uh, the image file from refit and then i restored it into um, in uh, disk utility i restored it to the usb stick so i now have a usb stick with refit on it okay so when i boot up i can boot up any mac uh, with that stick with or without hard drive built in that is it's really fantastic software you know um the guy some guy told me that i should check out the refined or so but you know i'm i'm like just like uh, a clockwork mod you know if it works for me even though these guys don't exist anymore and the site is long time long time dead i still work with that software you know just like cool edit and and things like that you know old software i you know so let's fix the mac okay let me show you because i fixed mine and then i was like hey i should tell you about this because i'm sure that many mac users out there are having are facing the same problem and they are buying new hard drives for nothing so let's see how it works okay here 
you can see that I restored refit yeah the refit image I restored it to the USB stick you know and the restoring goes really easy you select the little orange icon of refit you first you know download the refit DMG then you open it and then it will be here in in this utility then you select it as the source and you select the USB stick as the um, the destination when that is done then you should have a USB stick okay that USB stick will give you boot possibilities on the Mac that is not booting anymore and that I just fixed so let's go ahead and let's reboot it and let me show you what you should do we're just gonna restart the Mac this thing was dead and buried I just got it out of the shelf I was like let me see if I'm, I'm doing an Android project but I'm gonna tell you about that in my next video because I'm not gonna reveal everything immediately by the way many videos are coming up and eh, these, these coming days so it's gonna boot it's a little bit slow and booted So there we go. I'm gonna turn it on. There we go. And now it should it should boot to refit. I'm gonna hold the out effect. I don't have to hold the out. It should boot immediately to refit. Or if it goes to the Apple, then probably I'm. Uh, that's because the drive is fixed. Okay. So we're gonna kill the Apple again. <laughs> okay. So now uh, we're gonna press the uh, power again yeah and in your case when you have the problem it will immediately go to the to the usb stick it will boot up refit automatically because it will find it as only source to boot up from you understand i'm pressing the alt the one beside the the apple i'm, I'm holding it you see the, the 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 disc is flashing and there you're gonna see refit okay it's now also showing the other drives you see that i even have windows on here so um what you're gonna do you're gonna start up refit in your case you're gonna see only refit okay just hit refit and then uh, you won't see the apple you will only see this one that is the refit drive and then i want you to go all the way to the little here where you see the little hard drive and then you press it and then it's gonna say do you want refit to fix uh, the boot yes or no okay just hit yes after you hit it yes okay you hit to continue yeah you turn off the machine you're just gonna reboot after you click that yeah you're gonna say reboot the computer yeah and then you hold down the Apple key. And then boom. The machine is fixed. Then you can let go of the Apple key. That's how to fix a corrupted hard drive, a corrupted boot uh, of your Mac hard drive so you can kind of fix the machine back uh, to me this is really fantastic because i was missing this machine and i didn't want to you know open it and to go and put you know i have two of these machines the 1.1 this one i bought later it was for video editing you know when i was doing a lot of video editing on it now i'm using it as test machines and soon uh, i'm gonna do a fantastic project on this that uh, has never been shown yet here on youtube uh, at least i couldn't find any video so we're gonna have uh, the primer again so yeah you know i love making primers videos that people did not create yet i like that and uh, now i'm sure that my people are happy again because the apple machine works again you see that boom and i can show you this is uh, the mac 4.1 
it's really fast really i'm really happy with it um i remember that i got it from a guy and he brought it to me and there was all sorts of crap on it eh? I, I i wiped the whole machine and the guy still had his accounts up there of all sorts of things so i deleted it nicely for him people are selling computers without even deleting their info it's unbelievable if i want if i was a bad guy you know if i was a bad guy if i was a bad guy do 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 i'm not that guy a very nice guy so when i find info from other people that can harm them i delete it immediately your computer was recovered by no i don't want to report why apple will tell me yes you must buy new mac you shouldn't be on an old mac like this Buck. you need the newest of the newest no uncle apple I love my Mac because nobody has a Mac like this anymore. They only have these useless, useless devices with no earphones and with no, I don't know, no USB sticks and ports and I don't know, no CD-ROM drive. I have everything, Apple. This is a Steve Jobs machine. Good and solid. Well, peeps, in fact, that was it. I hope that this video kind of helped out. Um, if However, this fix did not help you. Um, you will find out that you will be able to use your Mac, in fact, without a hard drive. Because you will be able, if your drive is really broken, you will be able to do something really fantastic. And that fantastic, you will see in my next video. So, uh, if you did not subscribe yet please subscribe to my channel and make sure that you watch the video after this one because it's gonna show you how you can use your Mac without a hard drive but it will also show um, how to do something very nice so until then by the way if this fix did not work then probably your hard drive is broken and then you must replace your hard drive and then you know it will be fine again however if this happened from one moment on the other you know that while the thing was working fine you turned it off just fine nothing really you know was giving a sign of that a thing like this would happen that probably you know your boot is kind of messed up and refit will fix that in one second for you and if i had known this uh, like five months ago then this Mac you know wouldn't be lying for more than five months six months on the shelf with the idea that the hard drive was broken sure. Sure. crazy business so muchas gracias for uh, for watching thank you for watching um, I hope you liked this information if it was okay if it helped you out you know leave a little comment in 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 for us you know so we can see that yo know, for real this helped out and for real other people also have this problem out of nothing and maybe one day we can even discover how it happened and how we can you know not let it happen in the future again till my next video and thank you for watching